All right. Take this. Remove. All right. Um. So you take the littlest command pod. You take the biggest engine. Let's see what uh, what command pod do we want to use? This I haven't used this command pod. That looks pretty cool. Let's stick that there down on the ground. All right. Low to the ground speeder. Um. Gotta gotta get a bit of engines. We need to flare this out. Get it really really wide. Um, oh, hi, Effie. Yeah, yeah, doing pretty good today. Um, yeah, it turns out I have a much bigger audience on YouTube than I do on Twitch, which is nice. <laughs> I'm very happy everybody's come out to take a look and, uh, and see. Let's see. Oh, boy. Well, will that be enough, though? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's enough. Ooh, can we duplicate that? Can indeed. Ho oh, ho! Alright. We need lots of engines. Okay, we're gonna put... Crazy engines. We're gonna put the craziest engines that they have. I find that these engines here, they work really well at low atmosphere. These are like super booster engines. Um... I like to use them for land speed records. There we go. What do we got? There, just a little bit. And since this is overlapping, I'm not going to put engines there. Let's just forget that is even happening. Okay, I need to remove... Let's see, this has oxidizer and stuff in it. Okay, so that should... Wait a second. I'm not... I'm, I'm right-clicking. I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing an overlay for fuel. Does this have no fuel in it? I don't think this craft has any fuel in it. <laughs> That's going to be a problem. Uh, so I need a big fuel tank. Um, right about there, maybe an adapter type thing. Fuel tanks. Tanks for the fuel. Um, is this it? Is that the big, no, that's the small one. Um, that looks good. That has fuel in it? Cool. That's, that's the adapter I'm looking for. Alright, that gets that on there. And let's see, uh, some 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 wheels, some wheels. Uh, what is going on? Right about there. Actually, let's put the wheel. Let's reverse the wheels. There we go. Actually, putting them right there, on the back. With okay, where did my radial simul? There, there's my symmetry. Where did symmetry go? Alright, clone that. Uh, just like... That's... Okay, that's not... Not on straight. Okay, let's put that on straight. Cool. Alright. Um, back's too fat? A little bit. A little bit. Actually, I don't think that's enough engines, but... Uh, I want this to kind of look like it was intended to do this. Uh, I think what it needs is a little bit of... Uh, st stability, some strut stability. Where, where can we get some of that? Um, here's, here's a wing strike. That I like, I like that, okay. Let's take off this. Where are we rotating this to? Just like that. Okay. That's cool. Okay, we're gonna call this the OPT uh, Land Speed LS. OPT LS. Yeah, let's let's go with that. Save that. I don't know about uh, command and control or nothing, but I wanna I wanna take this out. Let's do it. Uh, weight balance. Yes, <laughs> weight, weight balance matters. Um, I don't, I, yeah, I don't know if any of that's going to work. <laughs> well, someone requested this. I already did the land speed record challenge. I hit, uh, 540? No, 580, I think. For the land speed. Okay, we came very close to it.
We came very close to 580. On the very first. <laughs> okay, okay, it finally broke. <laughs> How fast were we going? If I hit F2, it's not, is it Shift F2? It's, which one is, F3. It's F3, that tells us our high speed was 561. Um, forgot about action groups? <laughs> I don't know if I need action groups. Let's revert flight uh, to the space plane hangar. Now, how are we going to improve this? What was it that, uh, some kind of spoilers? Well, here's the thing. This is all an aerodynamic surface. So this is naturally creating that spoiler effect. That's why we were so successful. Um, same with, same with this, you know? Uh, so that kept us straight. It did eventually flip. Um, friction control on your wheels? D do we have that? Is there friction control? Oh, it is on auto. Let's override. Uh, and then do what? Um, so you don't get any wobble. What's the deal with friction control? Do I want it on zero? Yeah, it's, yes, this game is definitely on 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 Steam. It's a it's amazing. Um, friction control override and put it on zero. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, that's looking good. Um, it just at the very end it flipped. So. Let's see. I I do want to put. I do want to do this properly. So I do want to put some. Uh, some parachutes on it for the very end of the runway. Um, so if I do this radial mounted drogue shoot versus the regular shoots, let's just do uh, a bunch of these on the back end. Because uh, uh, my previous designs, my previous efforts did not include the ability to slow down. What, what happened there? There we go. There we go, okay. And now I need to separate these, all of the... Gosh, why didn't they just put it in a different action group? I don't know. Hit the save button. Uh, okay. Airframe becomes a wing, so to speak. Yes, it does. Um, and it flipped incredibly fast. Well, let's give it another test and then take a look at it. I wonder if it'll do better. Okay. Uh, same behavior. And there's, there's the parachutes. Very useful. <laughs> and safely in the water. Hey, that works. I'm happy with that. There's the remnants of my uh, submersibles. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, recover. Uh, but I could like put something on it. Um, try and shield it, I'm not sure. But I doubt that's what's causing the flipping. I, like, I've had flipping on every craft that I've done. Mainly because the front of the craft is much lighter than the back of the craft, which has all of these... Um, all of all of this weight so the weight will basically stay in one place and then the front of the craft will just flip back over it you know like uh one of those tipping ducks or whatever um so i think the issue with that would be to weigh down the front a little bit better um but i'm not sure what the answer is there uh there isn't something like this heavy that i could just put on the front um, let's see, some airfoil clipping through the thing? Yeah, could do that. Um, yeah, yeah, weighing it down would help a bit, but again, look at how many engines this is. I would have to weigh it down by exactly that much weight on the front, and I'm not entirely sure how to do that. 
Let's see. Let's start with, uh, let's start with the airfoil and try and improve the airfoil here. Uh, that's, that's not big enough. Um, we go with this. I could, I could just kind of like, yeah, with, with enough tweaking here. Hold on. I'm not done with that. Uh, no, 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 like that, and then, like that, adjust, that would kind of do it, like that. I think that would do it. It's a little, it's not quite lined up. Like there's clipping right here, so I would raise that one more. Right. There would do it. Okay. So that might help. Um, actually, yeah, let's give that a try. You want to you want to do your testing one by one so you make sure that you always make positive changes. And if it's not a positive change, you remove it, then you try these something else. Uh, cuz otherwise you're not actually testing. Um you got to you got to test it one at a time. Um here we go. Oh. <laughs> Uh, well, that well that worked. Um, how fast was that? Uh, we had a lot of friction. <laughs> um, I need a longer runway. Okay. Um, actually, uh, let's go back. Let's go back. Um, <laughs> and there it is in the water. Um. Revert flight to the space plane hangar. So, um, okay, so it, you saw how much fuel it had. It had enough fuel to keep going, so we don't need that much fuel. What I can do is instead of saying, hey, you need a longer runway, you can remove enough fuel that um, it, it will basically spend its fuel before the runway. And I think this design will not flip when it's super light. So in that case, it can go ahead and run out of fuel and it won't flip. So let's give that a save and a test. And keep going. Gotta stay strong. We're doing this for the kids today. <laughs> so here we go. Hello, peanut butter and bread. Welcome to the Twitch stream. Uh, how's it going today? Uh, everybody on YouTube is apparently dying over here. So, um, that's part, we're doing this for charity, we're gonna help people save people from dying. Here we go, look at it kick up, it's trying to kick up. Well, we went faster, um, we still had too much fuel, we went 507 meters a second, um, we need to reduce the amount of fuel some more. So we're gonna do that, revert flight, let's go back to the space plane hangar. <laughs> Okay, I think this is a great design. This is the most stable so far that's ever done this. Um, and it's definitely a lots of progress. I think if we have this much fuel, it'll start out super light, it'll manage to go fast, and we will end up setting a record. So I gotta beat 530 or 588, something like 580, uh, I think. I think... Um, we could, we could end up, we could end up putting on some more engines, I think. I think let's fill these two spots there if we can, uh, right after this test. Okay, here we go. Oh man, look at that, okay. Well, that's amazing! <laughs> oh, I love this game. 
<sighs> All right, that's a success. We went slower than before. We didn't quite have enough fuel. All right, we're going to increase the fuel by one more tick and add more engines. <laughs> All right, see you later, Effie. <laughs> I'll see you for streaming later. Uh, let me know. Give me a heads up. Uh, I've got um, Discord open, so when we're about to stream, just just post something into the Catterday uh, tab to let me know. Um, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Here we go. Um, thermal, electrical, aerodynamic payload. We need more engines. All right. Um, you know what? Let's let's see if overlap is really that big of a deal. <laughs> okay, we're gonna be cheating the game a little bit, but uh, oh, hey, you know what? We don't have to. That's what the move tool is for. You select this, and then you spread it out, and there we go. We don't have to have that ugly clipping that we had before. Hit the save button. Um, all right. So, now what else went wrong? <laughs> we needed more fuel. Okay, so, going back to the place tool and selecting the item, let's add a little bit more and see if it goes faster. Hit the save button. Let's go. <laughs> uh, this is amazing. I'm having so much fun right now. Internal explosions! Yeah, we were very close. Very close to having some internal explosions, Kona. <laughs> okay, here, it's about to kick up and it's not, that's good. That's, okay, and it's, we're dead. How fast were we going? 477. <laughs> uh, okay, let's revert to the space plane here. Um... So, you know what I'm going to try next? Do you see how, how much it's kicking down? I think let's tweak it with rotate and not kick it down as much. Not like that, but uh, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just like that, I would say. Save button. That looks good. Okay, let's give that a try. Oh, we're getting so close. Yes, I am streaming on YouTube as well. I'm using uh, Restream. I finally got that set up. It was a lot easier than I was anticipating. I thought it was going to be difficult. Uh, but if I knew that it was this successful or that easy, I would have been doing this for a lot longer. So you can now choose which service you like best. And uh, thank you for asking. Wait a second. These engines aren't activated. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> Reverts to space planning. <laughs> okay, we're going to... We're going to fix that. <laughs> okay, for some reason... Kerbal Space Program did not want us to activate those engines because it knew how powerful they would be were they to be on our side. And so, and through a uh, sabotage type thing... Um... It's been trying to keep us here playing a bit longer. Got that fixed, though. Power up. Okay, everything's going. Oh, yeah, we're going. Woo! And the parachutes were destroyed. <laughs> okay, 556. I'd say that this is equal to any craft I've done so far or faster. Um, let's revert to launch and see if we can survive. <laughs> okay, we gotta gotta pass 500 and then activate the parachutes. We don't want to die. <laughs> well, that was different. <laughs> I didn't have stability on, so that that's the reason why that happened. Let's go back. Revert to space plane here. We went 550. Okay. 
Okay, we can go a little faster. We can go a little bit faster. Um... Let's see, I need to squeeze a couple more engines on. And I'm thinking about the best way to do that. Um... I take... One of these structural bits. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Something like there. That's right over the parachutes, though. I don't really like that. Um, let's move the parachutes, then. Let's move them to the outside. Okay, that's good. And let's get another couple of engines alt. And stick those on. Come on. Get. Get on there. Get on. Come on. Okay. Cut. Yeah, you can do this. What's happening? Are you... Uh, hmm. No. Okay. All right. Forget about that. Um, hmm. Uh, let's go with... Okay. Do we have... Do Okay. Is there some... Is there... There should be... A thing here for engines. All right, is there? This is to end corridor. Radial mounted engine thing. Could I please? Is that there? No, engine corridor. This radial attachment point. That's supposed to be it. Okay. So why couldn't I? Why could? Can you be friendly? For once, please, and snap. I'm going to eyeball it. That's what I'm gonna do. Because I can. Because eyeballs are okay. Hit this, uh, no, 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 no. Technical difficulties. Okay, I need to, yes, that, thank you. Okay, X. And I think it's okay. Hit the save button. Let's go and test this. <laughs> uh, frontal engines to slow down even more. Reverse at the end of the run runway. Maybe. Just maybe. Okay. It appears I may need to hop on, on TeamSpeak after this. And we'll get the gist on uh, what's going on with the next part of the stream, uh, which is fine, because I'll, I'll keep the game running, hop on TeamSpeak, find out what's going on, look how fast we're going, and everything's activated. <laughs> okay! That's awesome! <laughs> uh... We went 526 and survived. I think that's a successful launch. Let's uh, let's jump on Teamspeak and see what's going on. How are you doing, Batbeard? You sound um, doing pretty uh, good. Uh, a little hyper. Uh, I've been having some fun with Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> well, yeah, but uh, fun fun's pretty much ahead. I mean, we've explored a lot of great ideas. We did uh, submersibles. Did uh. Uh, some... I didn't know you could. I didn't know you could do s oh, submersibles. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, it's well, not, it's not well implemented yet. The the ocean kicks you out. <laughs> that... So basically, what you're saying is you're trying to force <laughs> boats to go where they're not supposed to go. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> gotcha. But it's fun. Get my it's a fun. It's a up. fun effort. <laughs> Everything in this game is just about the you know doing it. <laughs> Batbeard loves his kerbals. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Too yep. much.